Hi. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my studio. Here is that painting I've been working on and working on and working on. And I'd like to just say hi to my sister, Audrey, and my brother-in-law, Walt. Hi. I'm going to add flowers. Flowers and leaves. Flowers and leaves. And leaves and flowers. Now I have a video, I'll try to remember to link it below, where I talk about how to make these flowers. So I have all of these that I've made and I want to attach them, but I think also I want to use a little bit of sheet music, make it a, a real pretty kind of musical mm, floral arrangement. You think of music, you think of an arrangement, you think of flowers, you think of an arrangement, right? So that's what we're gonna do. I have some old Etude magazines from the 40s. Oh, these are flowers, how pretty is that? Hmm, wow. That's pretty. So anyway, this has a lot of sheet music. Looks like I've really ripped this one up. That's another one. Ooh, those are cute. Hmm, those are cute. Cute, cute. This one's called In a Canoe. <laughs> that might be cute too. Over the Hill and Dale. Parade of the Tiddlywinks. Oh my gosh. I really like this flower, so I'm just going to take a chance here. And I'm going to rip those off because that's just how I grow. I really like those. I used to have some flowers made with music sheets. Oh, I see one. Let me show it to you. This one's made with one aluminum can leaf and some music sheets and some book pages, some stiffened burlap and a belt. And then I clipped it. So you could clip it in your hair or you, you can clip it onto anything. I had it clipped on a shelf. So yeah, that's made with music sheets. See, 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 see. But aren't they pretty when you layer them like that? Right at the tiddlywink. <laughs> that is really cute. I'm gonna use that. Okay. Right up the tiddly winks. Tiddly winks. Let me just. Huh. Right the tiddly wings. You know, this stuff rips so easy, too. It's kind of funny to use that weird edge thing. I'm not sure I even like that. But whatever. So, I'm going to rip. Look how easy this stuff rips because it's so old. So, so old. Okay, so maybe like that, I can make some of my flowers and attach them, but I don't want them to look, I don't know. I've got these cool leaves. I really like the leaves a lot. What I'm gonna do is rip these. She's adorable. Put her down in the corner. Maybe put her up in the back more because she's smaller and the flowers are bigger. Hmm. Music. Hmm. Parade. Where's the of the of the of the? There it is. <laughs> Doesn't have to be this really long piece, does it? Parade of the. It's so cute. Tiddlywinks. Maybe over this, I could just put some flowers. Well, there's only one way to find out and that's to play with it. So let's do it. The first thing I wanna do is ink all the edges of these. Remember this cool box with all my inks in it? These are just just oxides. If you hit them with water, they oxidize. Boy, I sound like a scientist today. Make a little sponge. We will go around the edges with walnut stain. And we'll take this little thing and then just ink all the edges. See, now that'll kind of blend that into the background automatically as soon as I glue it down. Of the, of the. Parade, huh? Parade of the. Where's my of the? That's not of the, is it? No. Oh, that's the wrong side. There it is. <laughs> it's got another song on the back. Of course. I've been doing this kind of thing since early 90s. So sponging edges has just become something that I love. I just love doing this. So don't you love doing what you love to do? Love what you love to do. Those are looking cool, right? Mm -hmm. And one more. I think we've got the whole title. I'm not sure I'm gonna want this whole piece, but we'll go ahead and ink the whole thing anyway, just in case we like it. Yeah, I always love doing this and sometimes scrunching them up. 
I want her to blend right in the background. I don't want those white edges. I could turn it over and try to rip away the white, but then I'm afraid I'm gonna lose her. And I use it, I use my painting as my surface to do this on because it doesn't matter. It doesn't. All right, I wanna have these two close together. So let's go ahead and glue this one down. If you recall, I talked about ordering a gallon. And I did, here it is. Mm, I saved this from guacamole. Ah, oh, look at that, I saved it from guacamole and I'm gonna put glue in it. Look how much glue. <gasps> Let me know this is so much fun. Look how nice, clean glue. Yeah. Old, old, old brushes from Harbor Freight. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna just start gluing this. My coffee's way over here, so I don't wanna put any paint brushes in it. This paper is very, very fragile. Whoops, look at that, see what I mean? Notice I'm not adding any water to my glue. Paper doesn't like water. And it would take forever to dry. Mm. And already, see, because we inked all those edges, it just blends right in. Okay, so I don't have to put glue on the top of this yet. Just underneath. I want to stick her up in here somewhere. Oh, I've got those flowers. They also are cool, but notice... Notice that when I tore this, somehow I didn't get any of the white edges. See, there's no white edges. Must have been the way I tore it, but I really don't understand how that happened. I mean, it's not like I w turned it upside down. It's just weird how sometimes that happens. Tiddlywinks. I don't need all music. I just need some. Where's my of the? How come I keep losing my of the? Here it is. It's of the. Where's my of the? Of the. That's kind of nice. Tiddlywinks. Tiddle ewinks. <laughs> Tiddle ewinks. I love her. I don't necessarily need her the background. I like how this piece kind of frames her face. You know, I can do that. Up the. This frames her face. And then I have the flowers here. Tiddly winks. I need some more elements. More elements. So we have a parade of tiddlywinks. So what are tiddlywinks? Do you know what tiddlywinks are? Does anybody out there know? I do. Tiddlywinks is a game. They were like little chips and they look like little, little hmm, I don't know, like little flat coiny button things, chips. And you would snap one against the other to make it hop. And so you would kind of aim it and try to get them. I can't remember exactly, but I know it has something to do with getting them to a certain spot. I'm really loving these flowers. I think I need to maybe move her up a little higher. There, get that of the where I want it. Show them all that. Of the, parade of the, yeah, right there. Parade of the, tittle, he winks. So the flowers will be down here. I'm thinking I might be able to make some real pretty flowers here. I got a pink one somewhere. Hmm. Here it is. See, I got a pink one and she's got pink. Maybe I can make some pink ones. But these other ones pick up the background. Those are kind of pretty together. And then some of the red ones. Hmm. Yeah, those are pretty. Okay, I think I'm gonna have some fun. All right, let's get this glued down. one more little thing I want to show you as I was cleaning up to go look for my vintage images of women I decided to cover her face with some Elmer's glue because it will protect her through layer and layers and layers from me ruining her face again so that's what I just did now for those images well you know me I can't leave well enough alone I had some other things to take care of today. And so before I got a chance to get myself to my vintage images, I came in here to do something and picked up my sanding block. See how it's wearing the edge away. I like, it's really brought this all together in the background. Not that this is the only color I use. This is such a good vintage color. Okay, so then I decided maybe I've got some of this off-white abstract Sennelier Titan Buff paint. And I'm thinking of just rubbing a little on the edges here. Lay it dangerously here, squeeze some out. It's one of those funky kind of packages of paint. So weird, like toothpaste. So I can just use my finger and I can kind of blend the edges. Kind of cool, right? Or my granddaughters eat applesauce out of these. And I'm like, you know, that 
that reminds me of those paints I have. You know, they just put this little end in their mouth and suck, suck the applesauce out. Nothing like when I had my kids that we were still using the baby food jars, which were not very convenient. That was, then they, do you remember when they came out? I don't know if any of you remember this. I'm really dating myself. But my youngest daughter was born in 85 and they had instant baby food. It was freeze dried and you added water. It didn't, they didn't have it for very long, but man, my kid pretty much lived on that stuff. Yeah, so I don't think it was the healthiest thing, but I mean, it's freeze dried, but it, I don't know why they didn't make it anymore. It was terribly easy to use. But mostly I just made my own, you know, just grind up vegetables and stuff. Oh yeah, those were the days. So you can see how this kind of, I don't know, it blends the edges. I'm kind of liking it. But you know, I, I don't want to go just halfway. I want to see what happens here if I do it everywhere on the papers. I kind of like it. And then blend it right over her hair. That's kind of neat. Can you see it? I hope, you, I hope I'm putting this in the, where you can see it. And then up here. Now this is acrylic paint, so you know before it sets completely, I can probably rub some away. So I'm going to do that. Just rub it around all these edges. You know, so you can do this with any kind of magazine pictures or whatever you want to use. I just happen to love vintage, so. It's funny how this started with just metal flowers, because I don't even know if I'm gonna use those after all. We will see. It's an option, right? It's an option. A little more, a little more. We're down here. Okay, look at my hand. <laughs> I love doing this stuff. Okay. Right. Yeah, you know, at first I didn't think I liked these paints in these little packages. My only concern really with them is that they will get um, punctured the way I throw my paints around. I could end up puncturing them and then having paint leak everywhere. All right, so now that that's done, let me put my little cap on and I will get a baby wipe. I also have to pay for my class, but I can reach them. They're right there, so. All right, so let's try. First, I'll get the paint mostly off my fingers. And now I want to kind of get it away from the beautiful background that I made. You know, with that copper paint and all those layers underneath. It's so beautiful but I can leave enough to blend my edges, which is cool. And of course, her face has been protected by a layer. Look at that, how it's protected by, with the glue. Now the glue does get gluey again when I touch it with water, but I, if I leave it alone, her face will still be protected, which is really great. Yeah, this is neat. Okay, so up here, Wear away some of this down here. Wear away some of this. And I like the way it blends everything. If it gets too dry, just add a little water. Mm -hmm. I'm being dangerous with her face. Okay, there. Stay away from the face. Oh, I removed a little too much paint there. But of course, you know me, this isn't done. This is not done. No, no, this is not done. There'll be more layers, ever so many more. But with every layer, you build the interest, you build the texture, you build the color, you build the, the story, you're building the story too. I need to add more here, but I'll do that later. Right now, I'm just gonna 
remove some and let it dry and then we'll come back. Well, maybe a little more here. I just love this background so much. I don't want to overly paint it. Just enough to blend areas together. There. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, also, it's going to be clearer after this dries because I'm reactivating the Elmer's glue that I used. Once that dries, it'll be, it won't be as cloudy. Okay, we're going to leave it now. We are going to leave it now. We are going to leave it now. We are. Leave it. Leave it now. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Well, so much for the vintage images. I took my collage with me today. We had something we call the activity fair in our community. All of the activities have tables to share what they do. And we had the upstairs balcony. So we were all up there demoing and I took this for my two hour stint and look what happened to it. I brought some magazines with me and going along with the theme of the piano and music, I found this image of this little baby at the piano in a magazine from 1945, beautiful magazine. Women's Home Companion 1925. Yeah, so I found the image of that little baby in there. And then I found another magazine, this blue bird in it, Birds in Bloom. And these magazines are awesome. If you like birds and, you know, for collage and everything, just great pictures. And then, I think it was this Smithsonian, I found these canes and these words. They don't really mean anything. They're just graphic element. I just loved these canes. I just thought they made it look kind of like a fence. And I put another piece of the flowers here and I think it's coming together and it doesn't look anything like I thought it would, which is the fun part, right? It's just so much fun. So I think I'm gonna add some color. I might just find an element or two more to add. So we'll work on this in my next video. I'll see you then, bye.